Right, here we go. The last men's event on the track. But the final event for men here in Oregon 22 is the final of the men's 4x4. I really hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the 2022 World Athletics Championship. It's been an absolute privilege to be here and there are two golds left up for grabs on the track. The Trinidadians are on the outside, running in memory of Dion Lendor, their great former teammate who passed away this January. We remember him fondly. Gold in London, eighth last year in Tokyo. The Jamaicans are in lane eight. Bluefield on the lead leg for them. They were sixth last year but got a silver in Doha. Big pressure because an excellent quartet from Poland will be just behind him. Dzwinski will be lightning quick on that anchor leg, but will they still be in contention when the mixed 4x4 gold medalist gets his hands on the baton? The Olympic champions, the world champions, anchored home by champion Allison. Norman, the very experienced American on second leg. They will believe they are signing off with a gold. Kevin Borle makes history for Belgium. He's been in seven finals for them. Only Great Britain's Martin Rooney can say the same. His younger brother on the lead leg, Dylan. Some great one-lap exponents in the Czech Republic team, most notably Maslak on that second leg. Pavel Maslak, a multiple world indoor champion. Is it the last time we'll see him on the world stage? Not necessarily too much, by the way, of individual brilliance, although Walsh can run well on the third leg. The Japanese were the second quickest to get through with wonderful teamwork. The French were seventh in Doha three years ago. They are second from the inside. Remember, we've got nine teams running in this. That first changeover could be carnage on the inside. This is a great team from Botswana. The Olympic bronze medalists and Isaac McQuala on the third leg, and then you, national record holder Dory on the anchor leg. This time they've got to try not to drop the baton. Botswana in one, France in two, Japan three, Czech Republic four, Belgium five, USA the defending champions in six, Poland seven, Jamaica eight, Trinidad and Tobago on the outside, the former champions from London. Watch for Jareem Richards on the second leg for them, the world indoor 400 meter champion. This U.S. team, lots of experience, lots of relay experience. Elijah Godwin has already run a couple of relay legs at this championship. He knows how to get out for the U.S. <laughs> Set. You could hear a pin drop for that start. The crowd, incredibly respectful. Now they unleash the full force of their voices as Elijah Godwin, fourth from the left-hand side, goes storming round that first straight. And now this second bend, really digging in. You can see him leaning into the curve. He's gone past Klepachi of Poland. St. Hilaire trying to hang on on the outside. It is very, very tight. Look how close they're running to the spectators because we've got a full complement of nine. Godwin to Michael Norman. Watch for him to explode into life. What a brilliant individual goal just beating Karani James. But normally you wouldn't see Michael Norman, the fastest 400 meter runner in the world, go off on the anchor leg. But why do you put him on second? Just so the U.S. can put this thing away early. You got champion Allison who will anchor for the U.S. team. Look at Jareen Richards coming round for the Jamaicans. And that's a lovely flowing stride from Nathan Allen. Belgium into fourth with Thatrin. He's had a really good season over the four hurdles. You might see that strength coming into play towards the end of the race. Richards is getting tired. He's run an absolutely brilliant leg. USA from Trinidad and Jamaica. Belgium and France are not out of this just yet. Poland are a long way last, which is a little bit of a surprise. Isaac McQuala trying to get Botswana back into the shake-up. And down the back straight, Javon Powell is closing on 
Rice Dedman. But that is a commanding lead, and he's used up a lot of energy, the Jamaican. And might start rocking and rolling. His head's beginning to bob. McKay being passed now by Doom of Belgium. Listen to the roar as champion Allison takes the baton in the lead for the United States. Jamaica second, Belgium third. Japan up into fourth, and the Trinidadians have somehow slipped back to fifth. He's got a long, leaning stride. Christopher Taylor is storming down that back straight. What a run by Kevin Borley. Imagine if he could bring them a world championship medal in his seventh final for his country. And he's looking like he's got the Jamaican in his sights here. The Americans are away and clear. This is very, very close to world record tempo. Champion Allison being roared home here. The Americans finish the men's programme in style. A fabulous silver for Jamaica. And in his seventh final for Belgium, Kevin Borley anchors his nation to the bronze. That was one of the fastest times we've ever seen. And quite frankly, once they took the lead, there was only ever one team in it. Gold for USA in the men's 4x4. Elijah Godwin and Michael Norman broke that thing open for the Americans. Bryce Bitt, Deadman, all he had to do was hang on and then hand the baton to champion Allison, who knows how to anchor. He anchored the Florida Gators to an NCAA record earlier this season, and what a season it was for the Florida Gator. Runner up at the NCAA Championships in the 400, cuts away here with a gold medal, and a medal for that man right now, Elijah Godwin. Four teams, Dan, four teams inside three minutes. The Japanese have broken the Asian record with 2.59.51. Trinidad ran a big season's best with three minutes, 0 .03. Jareen Richards got them right up into contention, but they just started to struggle a little bit. McKay was rocking and rolling at the back end of his third leg. But a brilliant, brilliant anchor leg by both the Jamaican Christopher Taylor and Kevin Borley in Belgium. Well, let's take a look at the splits. 44-28 for Elijah Godwin. 43-64 for Michael Norman. 43-82 for Bryce Dedman.